All right, guys, this might be one of those cases where the outro is longer than the actual video itself. I'm gonna show you how to actually turn on and enable dark mode on any iPhone running iOS 13. Now, this is that new, new, this is that new thing everybody is crazing out about, and it's a super simple process. I'm not gonna spend 30 minutes doing an intro about it. All you really need to do is make sure your device is running iOS 13, and it can be any iPhone, the 6S, all the way to the newest one. It really does not matter. As long as it has iOS 13 on it, even the iPads, I believe, are supported as well. All you wanna do is just go into the settings bar. You want to scroll down into display and brightness right here and you'll see you have two options light and dark now if you're coming into iOS 13 brand new then you should see this setting enabled or disabled when you're setting up your iPhone but if that didn't happen you can always enable it right here so all you want to do is just click dark and you'll see that you have that enabled right there you can mess with a lot of different things down here too now you have another option where you can turn it on automatically now what I'm assuming this is is that you can go ahead and change some options here so you can go ahead and customize it or you can do sunset to sunrise so that means if in your time zone the sun is up or your sun is down it'll automatically shift it from light mode to dark mode automatically I think that's pretty cool because if you're like laying down in bed or something then you can obviously like have it enabled automatically and if you're on the go somewhere then it'll automatically be on the light mode a little bit brighter but in this case I like having it dark mode all the time so I like turning that automatic off and as you can see I mean any app you go to for the most part will be on dark mode so if you go to the app store it'll be on dark mode if you go to like your calendar or whatever Safari Safari isn't necessarily dark mode all over but the top and bottom bar are dark mode so it looks just like you're in the private settings if you're in the private Safari app if you go into camera obviously that's dark but all those stock apps are on dark mode right now even reminder so this is really really cool in my opinion especially if you do have an OLED device like an iPhone 10 for example so all those little things you're going to do with it are now going to be fully dark the brightness on the wallpaper and everything and even these buttons are a little bit darker as well the dock does also get a little bit darker I've seen but whenever I enable it it really doesn't look like that's the case so if I go to light you can see it's that color if I go to dark maybe it's a little bit darker but it's really not as much as you would at least I would think so so ultimately everything is dark mode and that's really how easy it is it's not a hard process at all if you guys have any questions or you run into any problems, please just rewatch this video. There's no reason leaving comments down below that you don't have it. It's the easiest thing in the world. If you mess it up, then you just need to rewatch the video, man. But man, I love all you guys. If you have any questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.